what's up you guys it's jerica welcome back to my channel so today i'm doing a new foundation review i honestly don't know when this foundation came out i literally just found out about it i think last week and i was like you know what i need to go ahead and run to ulta and get this foundation because i read the reviews and the reviews looked so promising so i'm like you know what let me go ahead and try this foundation. So my last foundation review was the Fenty Beauty Powder Foundation. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it above so you can go watch it now. Yes, right now. Then you can come back to this video. So anyway, so we are doing a foundation review on the Morphe Filter Effect Foundation. Now what I'm gonna say is uh, this is probably too dark for me because the shade that I think that I really am, they were out of, but that also had said that it had a pink undertone. So I'm like, that probably wouldn't have worked for me anyway. Um, I'm more of a neutral undertone um, or like a hint of red, but not too much. I definitely, I'm definitely not yellow. That's for sure. Um, anyway, so I got the color filter rich 27. Like I, like I said, this is going to be too dark. It doesn't look as dark as what this says, or maybe it dries down that dark, I'm not sure. But they didn't have my exact color. Um, so I was, I just got what I could get so I could do this review. So if it's too dark, we're just gonna act like we don't see it. Y'all already know, if you watch my foundation reviews, um, I'm all, I always have trouble picking my shade, but this time it wasn't my fault, okay? They didn't have anything else, okay? So anyway, so I'm gonna read the disclaimers here, uh, or the key features. And I'm reading this on the Ulta website. It says, Hyaluronic acid boosts moisture levels and vitamin E delivers antioxidant protection. Poor blurring pigments diffuse the look of imperfections. Natural buildable coverage. Long wearing, sweat proof, transfer proof, free of oils, fragrances, and parabens. And it says it's crafted in Italy. They do ha also have 40 shades, which is awesome. It says, this Lux long wearing formula is designed to blur and diffuse the look of imperfections while deeply hydrating and nourishing the skin. Crafted in, crafted in Italy for the ultimate soft focus filter effect look and powered by high performing skin perfecting ingredients. The silky smooth medium to full coverage is buildable and developed across 40 shades for a range of skin tones and undertones. Plus, it's made to keep up with you keep up with you thanks to sweat proof transfer proof and waterproof performance that lasts 12 hours it's the best filter you'll ever use okay so i mean that's a lot of disclaimers so i want to prime my skin first and my og subscribers already know that i love to use the fenty beauty hydrating primer as you can see i'm running out of this and i also would like to note that it is literally 8 30 no it's nine o'clock in the morning um i've been trying to get ready to film since about 7 30 <laughs> and i had a wig on it looked crappy i don't know maybe just because it's early in the morning and i'm not used to filming this early um like i'm not used to filming this early at all i actually really don't even like it and i just i just don't feel awake and my nose is like still clogged y'all know like when you wake up in the morning your nose be on another level at least if you have allergies when you wake up your nose is just like we have left the chat Excuse any imperfections that you guys may see this morning, okay? That includes my wig. So anyway, next thing I'm gonna go in, go in with is the Filthy Beauty, the Filthy. Oh, it's too early for this. The Fenty Beauty, um, this is the first primer she came out with, like the soft silk primer. Um, I'm gonna go in with that on top. Usual with my foundation reviews, I've already done my brows and I've already did my lashes because I like my lashes to be done when I do my foundation. Now, if my wig could just cooperate, that would be great. You know, we it's time for me to just buy a new wig, y'all. Like, I've just been being cheap. Because I can totally buy a wig. Like, I need to get two wigs, actually. But I just haven't done it yet. I don't know, y'all. I just haven't done it. Anyway, so this is what it's looking like. So I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the package. I try my best to take it out of here as neat as possible. Even though they, they ain't going to keep it anyway. So let me just start off by saying I love this packaging. I love this bottle. I think it's super cute. I don't know why, I'm just a sucker for packaging. Anyway, so it does have a pump. And like I said, I did pump this on the back of my hand yesterday. So I'm like, it's gonna be a little dark. Like I already, I'm already expecting it to be a little dark. So just so y'all know, we already know it's gonna be a little dark. So we're already expecting that outcome, okay? Alrighty, so one thing I liked about this foundation is it does come with a brush for free. 
So we are going to be using the foundation brush that it comes with to see how it applies. And then I'm going to blend it out with my beauty sponge. So I'm going to apply it with the brush and then buff it in with my sponge. So this is what the brush looks like. It's just a, I don't even know. It's a weird shape. I, you would think it'd be a little bit flatter or wider. So this looks more like a contouring brush. So I don't know. I might, I'm gonna keep the brush though, regardless of how I feel about the foundation. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and pump this on the back of my hand. Yep, definitely way too dark. It's gonna be too dark, but we're just gonna go with the flow. It definitely covers up my dark spots. As y'all can see, it covered them up with no problem. I'm pretty sure I just put way too much on. Okay, so this is the matte foundation, but it's saying that it's hydrating, so that's a good thing. So I really like this brush, but I don't think I like it for foundation. See, look at this. My face is two different colors. <laughs> oh, and gee. And I lowered my brightness so y'all could see that it's too dark because on all my too dark videos, <laughs> y'all be in the comments like, but it looks perfect. Like, it looks perfect to me. They be like, you tripping. This, that foundation is the perfect match. And I'd be like, trust me, y'all, it's not a perfect match. But y'all be like, oh, it looks perfect on camera. So I lowered the brightness so y'all can see, like, it's not. And this one, you can, you can see that it's not. But like I said, like, once I do my concealer and stuff, it usually looks decent. My first initial thoughts. It looks really good on the skin. As you guys can see, like, it looks really smooth. Um, I really like how it applied. My smile line's coming through. That's a, that's a given. We already knew that was going to happen. But aside from that, I really like how it applied on my face. Anyways, so for concealer, I'm going to use my normal Born This Way concealer in the shade Mocha. Okay, so this is how it's looking with my concealer. So the next concealer I'm gonna go in with is the ColourPop No Filter. Like this is the, the usual on my channel, you guys. Like I'm not doing anything that I don't normally do. Pretty soon though, I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be trying some new products. Cause I really am getting tired of using the same stuff. All right, y'all. So for powder, I'm gonna go in with my uh, Sasha Buttercup, which is my first love. Okay, this is, the, this is the powder I used to use before I even discovered the Beauty Bakery Flower Powder. So we're gonna use Old Faithful because I'm, I literally don't have I hit like corners of my flower powder. And I'm so sad because I don't think my local Ulta has the powder. I'd have to drive like 45 minutes to another Ulta to get it and that, that's not happening. I'll probably do that tomorrow, but not today. So what I'm gonna do is dip my beauty, my beauty sponge in the Sasha Buttercup. This is what it looks like. This is very brown girl friendly, okay? Like, I really love this powder. Okay, and while that's setting on the other areas of my face, I'm going to bronze, and I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty um, bronzer in Coco Naughty. Ooh, y'all, I just used way too much. All right, to wipe off the powder, I'm gonna use my Ruby Kisses powder brush. Ooh. See how the powder just wipes away so flawlessly? It's a great powder. So the only thing left to do is highlighter. And for highlighter, I'm gonna use the Morphe Mirage highlighter. I'm not gonna use that much. All right, so for lips, I'm gonna use the Kiss Dark Brown Liner. And for lipstick, we're gonna use the Juvia's Place Matte Lipstick in Lady. This is their new, it's not even really new anymore. Their new matte lipsticks. And for gloss, I'm using the NYX Lingerie Gloss in Sable. 
And then on top of that, I like to go in with some clear gloss and this here is from Pretty Glam Cosmetics. Okay, so it doesn't look so dark now that I've done everything. Isn't that crazy how that works, y'all? Like, look, remember before when I was showing y'all, like it was really orange, but now that I've done my concealer, I've done my powder, I'm gonna have to go look in the bathroom mirror because like I said before, my bathroom mirror is like the tell all. If it's too dark, I will know because my bathroom mirror just, it knows right from wrong. <laughs> so what do you guys think? I actually really like it. Hmm. So again, let's get a look at this side. And this side. So as you guys know, I do have dark spots along my chin and that's just a part of hormones and the issues that I deal with having endometriosis and PCOS symptoms. I don't have PCOS, but I have PCOS symptoms. And it's so weird, like it's, it's so weird. Like I'm gonna do a video on it, but anyway, so my thoughts, my first impressions. I think this foundation is beautiful. What do you guys think? Like, it's really hard to tell because, like, I'm like I said, I'm not doing a wear test, but I actually really, really like it. Hmm. It had really good reviews. A lot of people said it blurred their pores, and I definitely feel like my pores are blurred because I have larger pores in my cheeks. But my skincare routine, though, I've seen a huge difference in my pores for my skincare routine. So if you don't know what that is, then I will link that above now so you can watch my skincare routine. Because honestly. So I really, 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 really like this. It's beautiful, it's beautiful. Now if I can just get my wig to cooperate, like there's just flying hairs everywhere. Hey you guys, so I decided that I would do a quick uh, video on the foundation using my phone. So this is my skin up close. As you can see, you don't see no pores. Like, my skin is smooth. Hope y'all can see. My smile line is coming through right here. I wiped it off a little bit, that's why it looks that, it looks that bad. <laughs> I literally just tried to like wipe, dab over it and I just wiped some of the foundation off, but it looks good. I've had it on for about an hour and 30 minutes, close to two hours. It still looks really flawless. As you can see, my smile line came through though. That's not the foundation's fault. That's just my smile line. Um, so yeah. I don't know. I like it. I really like it. Hmm. Morphe, you may have just done something. I've never tried a Morphe foundation before and I don't even know if they really have foundations. I know they have like maybe two or three, but this is my first time trying a Morphe foundation and it definitely looks like I have on a filter. So that is really exciting. Let me check my phone. I'm feeling a lot better about how <laughs> this video is going now that I have my face done and it's looking decent. I feel a lot better. So anyways, if you guys like this video, I hope you guys thumbs up and subscribe and don't forget to follow me on my Instagram, which is jerica.sincere and check out my blog, which is www.jerica.sincere.com. It is under construction. I am working on it, but make sure you check it out anyway, because that way you guys can become accustomed to checking it out. I keep saying that so you guys can get used to, because I am going to be blogging. I'm going to start blogging and I'm really excited about it. I just got to get everything up and running. So everything that I use in the video will be linked down below if you're interested in it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching and have a good day.